Kulpad. Ahead of Mikel Schumacher and Rubens Barrichello. A superb win. And David Cooper, presented by Dr. Wolfgang Schüssel, the Federal Chancellor of Austria. <laughs> to the winning constructor, represented here, West McLaren Mercedes, represented by Ron Dennis. The trophy presented by Dr. Boris Nemsik, the General Manager of Mobilcom Austria. <laughs> to the second place driver, Mikhail Schumacher, the trophy presented by Dr. Susanna Rieskater, the Vice Chancellor, Minister for Sport. <laughs> and to the third place driver, Rubens Barrichello, the trophy presented by Werner Kraus, the Vice President of the Austrian Automobile Club, the OAMTC. <laughs> Gentlemen, congratulations. Congratulations, gentlemen. First, second, and third in the Austrian Grand Prix. David Coulthard, the winner. Michael Schumacher in second. And Rubens Barrichello in third place. David, Mika Hakkinen said earlier today that it's a, a very sad weekend for McLaren. But at the end of it, you brought uh, at least some cheer to the team. Yeah, and that's uh, just to explain why I wasn't spraying the champagne. For, for those at home who don't realise, we lost a very important member of the, 
the uh, the team, Paul Morgan, this weekend, and uh, and uh, winning this Grand Prix, I think, is a, is a big boost for everyone in the team. Now, looking at the way the race ran, you ran an incredibly long first stint, longer than anyone else, and then you emerged in the lead. Was that the tactic uh, from fairly early, early on in the proceedings? Yeah, um, from where I was in the grid, obviously, having qualified seventh, it was important to, to start heavy and uh, just to have the options open, depending on how the race went. Uh, I was able to uh, lean the engine out early on after the first few laps and save quite a few laps of fuel as well as obviously with the safety car and uh, that enabled us to go quite long. David, thank you very much. <coughs> Michael, um, you didn't have the dream start to the race from pole position. You were led away by both Williamses. Can you put your finger on why you dropped back? Mm, not really. Uh, we had some kind of problem. Certainly the car didn't start in the way it was supposed to start and basically I did a manual start uh, afterwards because uh, there are some kind of problems but I'm sure we will find out and it's, you know all these systems are still very new and uh, like we have seen with David something happened to him in Barcelona with uh, these systems now it happened to me and I guess uh, a few other people will still get surprises until everything is really reliable. Having worked your way up to second place after your brother retired, uh, there was then the moment with uh, Juan Pablo Montoya that took both of you off the circuit. Could you talk us through that move? I was a little bit uh, upset, obviously, because uh, there was no way he could make that corner and all he was trying to do is to, to take we, uh, me with him out of the circuit. And I mean, he was lost anyway and to, to do something to me then I thought it wasn't really what he should have done because I, I had to go into the grass, I couldn't turn in, I nearly hit him. Uh, so uh, it was, wasn't was uh, ideal, but that's the way it had, had gone and I'm sure, uh, be sure I will have a word with him. But that meant that I was, I think, in sixth or seventh position, and I had to make my, uh, I had to work my uh, way through the traffic, which wasn't uh, easy because the Michelin drivers had problems with their tyres. So it would have been normally uh, sooner or later I would have passed uh, uh, Juan Pablo, but uh, the other guys were on Bridgestones, and that was much more difficult. I had to wait until they did uh, a few mistakes, and that, uh, then I took my chance uh, to Panis and to Raikkonen, which both behaved uh, very accurate, and that allowed me to come back into the race and, and pick up uh, uh, to the two guys in front. Michael, thank you very much. <coughs> Rubens, you were th second until the last corner and then you pulled over to let Michael through. Why was that? The team uh, has asked me to, to do that. Are you very unhappy about that? No, I'm, I'm unhappy about the situation. I was uh, winning uh, almost the whole Grand Prix and then of course uh, David went longer and uh, I lost the race, basically like that. That's, that's why I'm, I'm, I'm feeling unhappy. Thank you, Rubens. David, back to you. The deficit was eight points to Michael before the start of the race. Now it's halved to four points going to Monaco. What do you think about the rest of the season? <coughs> Excuse me. Well, I think, as you can see, uh, the Grand Prix are going to be very close, not only between ourselves and uh, Ferrari, but uh, Williams as well, so it uh, really is going to come down to who gets their car and the tyre working well in Monaco. But it's a circuit I enjoy, I've gone well there in the past, so uh, you know, there's everything to play for. David, thank you very much. Now, uh, Michael and Rubens, uh, first with Michael in your own languages, please. Long had a pretty chaotic race, I must actually say. Gleich am Start, it funktioned the whole thing so, as it would have been. I was almost stuck there. Ich musste im Prinzip einen manuellen Start machen und die sind natürlich nicht immer, wenn man nicht darauf vorbereitet ist, sowieso schon äh, nicht so gut. Zum Glück habe ich nur diese zwei po äh, Positionen verloren und habe dann erst äh, meinen Bruder überholen können, nachdem der Reifenprobleme hatte und äh, das Auto nicht mehr halten konnte oder sonstige Probleme, ich weiß es nicht. Das gleiche fing dann auch eben mit äh, Montoya an, den ich dann auch äh, überholen wollte und war im Prinzip viel schneller und war auch in einer guten Position. Und Uh, war ein bisschen schade, dass er da im Prinzip uh, eigentlich nur darauf aus war, mich mit uh, ins, ins Grüne zu nehmen, weil ich meine, sein Rennen war im Prinzip sowieso hin und uh, meins dann mit kaputt zu machen, war ein bisschen dumm. Aber nichtsdestotrotz möchte ich uh, im Rubens uh, Dankeschön sagen, dafür, dass er uh, sich so verhalten hat, wie er sich verhalten hat, denn auf der Punktesituation muss man einfach sehen, dass äh, wir gegen sehr starken Gegner kämpfen und alle Punkte benötigen. Am Ende vom Jahr wird sich das bestimmt noch äh, aus, auszahlen. Dankeschön. Thank you, Michael. Rubens, in Brazilian, please. 
Foi uma corrida muito, muito competitiva, foi uma corrida que eu tive muita sorte na hora, na hora que montou é, não deixou, deixou o Michael passar e a partir de então eu tive, tive a liderança, o meu carro, é, eu não tinha pneus novos na frente, não escolhi os pneus novos como, como a McLaren e, a, e o próprio Michael escolheram como, como pneus e, e nessa, nessa coisa eu andava um pouquinho melhor no meio da corrida, mas para o final do stint eu estava um pouquinho mais...